Hello, I'm Stefan Kreber, the project leader for LexD, and in this video, I'm going to be going over LexD's network ACLs. ACLs uh, stands for Access Control List, and in the LexD context, this refers to a feature very similar to the security groups or firewall feature that you can see in, in public cloud providers, for example. Effectively, it's a way to restrict uh, ingress and egress to instances, uh, either at network levels for all of the instances on a particular network or as a uh, on a per instance basis by applying those policies to a specific network port the documentation i've got open here kind of goes through how to create acls um, the different properties and configuration keys how to add and remove rules from them what's um, what are the different options on a specific rule how to refer to other instances and networks within those rules, how to uh, manage log traffic, and um, how to assign the ACLs, as well as the default action and the some of the re restrictions that apply. Those restrictions are because um, LexD has two different backends for ACLs, one for local, which is on top of normal Linux bridges, and another one for um, distributed networking with Oven. And Oven has a lot more features, so a lot of the, the options listed on that page actually don't apply for the normal, like, local bridge case. All right, so let's get to a terminal and actually start with that local case first. So here I've got a system where I'm using a empty project. I've got a bridge called DemoBR0, which this project uses. And I can create a couple of instances real quick. So U1, U2, those instances will be on that bridge. Now, if I go inside one of them and I try to talk to the internet, this just works right out of the box. That's the default XD behavior. By default, there are no ACLs at play, no restrictions, no filters, no nothing. So all ingress and egress is allowed. All right, so if we go and create an ACL, let's call that demo and then go and apply it on that network. So demo BR0 is the bridge, security ACLs demo. Okay, so now that we've got an empty ACL and it's applied, go back in the instance, we're gonna see a bit of a difference in behavior here. Uh, there we go. Yet no longer can talk to the internet. However, it can still talk to other instances on the same network. That's one of the restrictions for local ACLs. They can't apply instance to instance. Um, they just apply network to outside world and or outside world to network. So what happened here is we've got an ACL now. Uh, we went edit it for demo and it doesn't have any rules for egress or ingress. So it defaults to blocking everything. What we would like in this case is some egress rules. So it's the one that's action allow. Destination is 8888 and 8844. Um, the protocol is ICMP4 and we'd like the ACL to be enabled. Now going back here, can try that again. And now this, this works. If we're going to edit that, we can actually narrow it down. Um, well, it's actually, no, what I wanted to show here is showing that if we go outside of the ACL, it doesn't work. Those two addresses are allowed. Um, as I said earlier, there are some more options. So in the state here could be logged. Go to logged and try it out. It still works, but it's got one small difference, which is that the traffic is logged. So looking at the kernel log here, there's an entry that shows that particular rule being hit. Don't do that with like high traffic situations because that can cause a lot of uh, disk space being consumed quite rapidly. Okay, so let's keep that rule as enable now and we can do another rule, which would be for protocol, oops, protocol TCP port 80 state enabled and can also add some descriptions to our rules so this one would be allow all http effectively this one would be icmp to google dns 
and this one would be what well, the rule set itself the acl itself should be um the acl for the node br0 let's go it that way yeah there's an error at line 35 all right it's not port it's destination port Makes sense save that go here and now on top of icmp i can also do http and that's kind of the basics of ACLs um, for the local local use case. You can control ingress and egress on an entire network. You can't filter what happens within the network. If you need to do that, you should probably create multiple uh, individual network bridges and then use ACLs to, to control that. It's also worth noting that LXD comes with a number of built-in ACL rules that are always applied, so that your instances can always do DNS, can always do DHCP. That's why DNS just worked here. So that's the local case. Now let's switch over to a cluster instead. I can look here and see that it's using oven. And now look, do the exact same thing. So create two instances, U1 and U2. Then we're gonna be copying the ACL from the local server to the remote one. So we've got the exact same ACL to, to work with as well. The way I'm going to do that is by creating the ACL. So I'll create the ACL as demo and then do ACL show local demo. So that shows me my local ACL. I can pipe that into ACL edit demo and that will have effectively copied the ACL to that remote 60. Now, if I go inside of U1 here, if I try bringing something, it just works that that's because there's no filter and oven works the exact same way as normal LXD networking, no ACLs in place, no filtering. The thing that's a bit different with oven is that we can now apply it to is apply the ACL to a specific instance. So in this case, security ACLs demo. And now I've applied that to the U1 instance directly. So we can see. ICL is working as expected. What's allowed is allowed and what's not is not. There is however one little difference. If I go here and I try to talk to that other instance, this does not work. Now one way to allow it would be to add a new ACL rule that allows specifically talking to that instance. That's one way to do it. Um, but say you had more than one instance that would get a bit annoying having to maintain those addresses and hoping they never change. So that's where there's another trick that's kind of interesting with Oven. So let's just stop all of those for now and do a bit of ACL reshuffling. So I'm gonna create a new ACL. Let's call it ping. Turn it into a mostly pointless ACL, I guess. Uh, so we're just gonna be allowing, uh, so action allow, uh, protocol, well, actually, no protocol, just state enabled. So, all ingress, all egress is allowed for anything that's got that ACL applied. Now, gonna be applying that ACL to U2, bang, and U3, bang, there. So, those two have the ACL applied. And now we can go and edit the ACL for demo. And in demo, what we're gonna be doing is a rule that looks like this. So you do action allow, destination ping. So that's the name of the target ACL. Protocol ICMP4, state enable. Okay, now we start U1, U2, U3. I'm gonna start by going to U3 and just making sure this, it behaves as it should. It should not have any restrictions because it's got an ACL that allows for absolutely everything. Okay, as you recall from earlier, U1 was not allowed to talk to U2. We could not ping it. Now with the new ACL in place, it should be able to. And it can, and it can talk to the this as well despite not being al allowed to talk to the outside world. So that's one of the, the 
pretty nice benefits of the oven implementation is that we, you can actually use ACLs as effectively um, port or well, network port groups. So as a way to refer to a number of instances and being able to use that in either source or destination. Uh, there are also some magic ones that are defined in documentation that you can do at external or at internal. Um, I can actually show that for the... So for this one, I mean, it's not super easy to show, but uh, I could do destination at external, which will then say that I can connect to port 80 on anything outside of the network, but not to other instances within the network. Um, I should probably do this. Okay. So if I go back in U1, I should see that HTTP still works because that rule does arise. And it also means that I could have done something like um, destination at internal, for example, on, on things instead of using the other group. And that would then allow as it should, let's see. That should allow pinging other instances, yeah, within the within the network. So at internal is a lot less specific because it doesn't just allow those couple of other instances; it allows everything within the network. But that's often sufficient. That that's those two magic groups effectively are really convenient to just say within the network you can do that, at, but to the outside world you can do that. And if you want something more fine-grained, then you can create multiple ACLs, assign them, and then do what I did here with the source and destination groups. The other thing that's um, interesting with Oven is the, the logging is slightly more flexible. So if we switch this one rule here to logged instead of enabled, um, then we go here and I do ping 8888. Oops. In the oven case, the, the logs are effectively centralized by LXD, so you can do ACL show log, I think is the command demo. Um, and it didn't find it. Uh, I'm not sure why that is actually. Uh, let's just clean things up a bit here and try again. It's possible that it won't work. Um, it, can, it may just have to do with the way my particular LXT cluster here is set up. I'm not sure. Let's try that again. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, the the reason why it may not work in some environments, like in this one, is that LXT will effectively go and pass the log file on every single machine within the cluster to extract the information and return it. That's very convenient, but it does rely on very specific formatting of the log and the log actually being available. Um, because this is a very high uh, traffic cluster I'm using, um, we might just have had, might, very likely we turned down the logging enough to not have those entries, so LXD just doesn't find them. Um, but that's something that can very easily be enabled by the administrator, and it's really convenient because you don't need to have access to the individual machines. The user can just go and look at the, the, the log entries directly, which is really, really convenient. Um, and that's that's... Pretty much it. Uh, the other thing I guess that I can show is if you edit one of the instances, you can put ACLs, like you, you can actually have multiple ones. So you can do demo, comma, ping, and put the instance in multiple groups in this case, uh, or multiple ACLs in this case. When you do that, uh, you just need to keep in mind that LexC always applies all of the deny um, actions first before any of the allows. So if you need to block something, you can put it in, but all of the deny is always processed before any of the allows. The default action can also be tweaked to, to either allow or drop traffic or reject traffic. By default, it rejects it. Um, so there's quite a bit of flexibility there. And it really feels a lot like what you might have in the cloud with uh, security groups and can be structured in, in much the same way. And the, the main benefit being that you can try that pretty easily uh, locally without uh, you know, dealing with a public cloud provider. And, and that's pretty much it for, the, for this overview of network ACLs. I hope this was useful. Um, 
I think the, the local use case would be more useful in the, the open case for many people. Um, but for those those who are using uh, like C clusters in a free large scale environment with oven, it really gets you a lot of different options uh, to really have very fine grade net, um, control of your network, both ingress and egress of the network and even control over individual instance ports, uh, which is particularly useful when you don't want to have to manage too many different networks. You can put all the instances pretty much on one network and then use those those ACLs to, to still isolate them from each other. If you've got any questions, uh, you can leave them down below. You can go on our community forum. The documentation page here uh, will be linked in the description. I hope this was useful to you. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.